God bless everybody today. It's November 14th of 2022. This is a Daniel 8 update. Um, I posted a video last night about how Istanbul had been attacked by a uh, terrorist a bomber. Um, went off in the main portion of Istanbul and there was a lot of fatalities and um, uh, wounded people in this attack. Um, I had indicated that I thought it would be a bad thing if they had blamed the Kurdish um, uh, nation for this, and that is exactly what they're doing at this moment. It says, um, Istanbul bombing act of revenge. Uh, Turkish um, blames basically the, Purdish, uh, the uh, Kurdish group PKK for the attack. And um, this order has been passed in Syria. And I was just talking about Syria now through the SDF or the Syrian Defense Force has allowed Turkey to basically occupy uh, Syria. And so Turkey is going to apply a lot of pressure, especially after this bombing. And if you go into Daniel 8, it clearly states that the Kurds somehow are going to align with Iran and then we would see Turkey crush them in the near future. And I've been talking about those very specific dates of January 24th, 2023 through February 14th of 2023, and how we would see a potential 21-day war as indicated in Daniel 10, verse 4 and 13. And if you go out into the live map, the Kurdish live maps and Syrian live maps, um, you'll notice that this is starting to ramp up um, even since my last video. Um, so as you can see here, the U.S. is condemning this attack. Um, we got students protesting. It's Soleiman Shaw. Wow, Soleiman Shaw. Keep talking about the Temple of Solomon Shaw and how that's going to affect us someday here um, for a reason. We're having all kinds of different ramping up of attacks on different groups and factions. Um, the Revolutionary Guard is now going off. This is all in the last couple hours here. I mean, this is, we're, we're, this is going to ramp up quickly now. You have like 70 days before... 71 days or so before January 24th here, so I think this is going to ramp up extremely quick, and we need to watch this. Everything in here is talking about something that's affecting the Kurds just in the last few hours, okay? Or the Iranians, or Turkey, and as many people want to believe that this is a Russian issue down here, it's not. And one of the reasons is, when you come up into Russia, and you get on the other side of Turkey here, and you get down into Armenia, and down in through there, there's no way for Russia to even get their armor through here, because there's a massive panhandle up here, like a massive cliff. And this was put here for a reason, to protect this area down here from the evading northern armies that might come against them. I mean, even the Quran mentions this trench um, that runs down through this area. It's extremely mountainous. I mean, you cannot get armor over these areas. They actually had to try to build a military road down through here, and they still have access problems. So to try to get a Russian army down through these areas down into the Middle East, you know, is almost impossible. There's a reason that there's this trench here. And it's the demarcation between the northern areas and the southern areas so that the communists basically couldn't get down south and affect God's plan. And this is indicated in a number of of Muslim teachings that there's this trench up here that's impassable. And so nobody mentions this trench either. It's an amazing trench. I've seen a lot of different pictures of it. 
and it's amazing how this thing just wraps I mean, it goes up vertically, and there's just no way around this thing, and access would be extremely harsh even if they did have it. So this gives us sort of an overview. So you have this massive mountainous range. They have to get down in here, and they get back up over it again. Logistically, this is a nightmare, and Russia's entrenched in Ukraine, and if you know, the other thing I keep trying to tell people, you know, this Rosh thing. I hear so many people, Rosh, it's Russia, it's Russia, it's Russia. Go back into the old Bibles. You go back into my old Bible, the RSV or King James Version, any of the older Bibles. Rosh is never indicated in these Bibles. Talked about the Smith's interpretation of the chief pri the chief prince, which it means Rosh in Hebrew, has nothing to do with Russia. And so you need to really, when you hear people say things like that, you need to say, look, there's no basis for this teaching. And you're distorting the Bible when you do this. And God tells us there's a, um, you know, there's uh, repercussions for distorting the Bible in that manner. I, I, hopefully someday I can find some better pictures of this again. Um, the ones I saw was on a video of a Muslim cleric that had talked about this and how it's in the Quran, how it's been placed there by God as a demarcation for a reason to keep these two areas of the world separated. And it's this massive trench and mountainous area that runs down through this whole area and like i say you know god doesn't want things to happen he's going to block them off and this has nothing to do with a russian invasion from the north into iran you have to get through armenia it's impossible you would you know the only way they could do this is by air. And you can't run a full-scale war by air. So, so I just want to be, to be aware that now they have determined the attacker that bombed Istanbul um, is a Kurdish PKK terrorist in their eyes, in Turkey's eyes. These are terrorists. Um... You know, I don't care how you look at a group of people. The other always side always looks at to you as a terrorist. Um, and Turkey is probably the terrorist in the room. And the Kurds are just trying to maintain their quality of life at this point. Turkey's been trying to genocide these people for decades. Okay. And so when you get into this mode of stupid, you have to question the reasoning why. And the reasoning why here is that we're moving into a Daniel 8 effect that's going to affect the Middle East in the next few months. And you need to be aware of this because it's going to change everything as we move forward here and we see the geopolitical map of the Middle East changed. So God bless you. Keep an eye on this. Watch the Medes. Watch the Kurds. They're the understanding of where we are in time in the Bible. And you can actually go into Daniel 7 and you can start to see this forming. He talks about this. And everybody's like, well, you got to get past Daniel 8 to get into the future. No, you don't. You can go into Daniel 7 to 12 and it all starts talking about forward events as we move into latter days. So if they're leaving out chapter 7 and 8 as a past history lesson, which it is, but it's moving into a future actual event again. So he's showing you what happened in the past. It's going to happen again, and it's going to reoccur in the next few months. As we watch this collapse on the Kurds, and the Kurds have to go to Iran, align with them so that they can have safe haven. And that's what's going to cause this to blow up.
God bless everybody.